guys how's it going it's the magician back out here with the kayak we got the passaic river back here behind me and um i'm gonna try to do some pike fishing today i went out to a different part of the passaic river about two days ago and i landed my personal best pike uh, and that was the only fish within i was fishing there for about three hours and that was the only fish i was able to hook up onto and land and it was my personal best it was 32 inches yeah 32 inches and six pounds if i'm not mistaken but i'll show you that clip of that pike right now oh this is perfect <sighs> look at that you guys yeah it was a nice pike but yeah it was an awesome time so i'm back here going back out on the passaic river throw these waders on real quick but this time i'm going to be putting on the head cam for you guys i'm not gonna be rocking the chesty so i just think the chesty makes no sense while i'm on the kayak because all you're gonna be able to see is straight you're not gonna be able to see the angles or whatnot hopefully you guys enjoy it throw these waders on let's go out on the water and what else i forgot to mention we have a tropical storm headed up north should be here by tomorrow I believe it's named Maria, Tropical Storm Maria or Hurricane Maria, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's going to be here tomorrow, so we're going to be getting a lot of rain. So I'm not sure if that's going to mess up the fishing for today or even after, but let's see if we land anything. All right, so what I love to do is before I throw the kayak in and probably spook any potential fish that's around this area, I'm gonna make a few casts. Take a few minutes out here, and then I'll make my way out. Of course, you guys already know, I'm gonna be starting off with the fluke, and then I have a spinner bait tied on the other rod. All right, nothing's here. Let's get out there. Oh, there's some big carp in here. I'm not sure if you guys could see this, but there's carp just darting away when, once I'm getting close to them just making this water or I should say dirt pick up leaving big clouds of dirt so what I gotta do come back here and try some carp fishing haven't done that in a while used to do that a lot come back out here make another video just carp fishing bring out the hair rigs Yeah, last time I was out here in the kayak fishing, I had my phone like a rookie on my lap and I'm not even sure when it slipped and it fell right into the water. I realized once I was getting off the kayak, I'm like, where's my phone at? The water's so low now and so clear. It'd be so funny if I see it sitting at the bottom of, at the bottom of this river. I doubt it, but just saying it would be funny. Oh wow, just missed one. I don't know how I missed him. That sucks. All right, well that got my heart pumping. That got my heart pumping. Oh, got him this time. This little guy, this little guy, unbelievable. All right, let's get him off the hook. And let this little guy go. Easy. <laughs> Smallest one I've ever caught. I believe it's a pike. 
You guys let me know. Yeah, I think this is definitely a pike. Awesome. Hopefully that camera angle is a lot better than the chesty. Well, I know it is, but hopefully I have the angle set up right. But uh, let's keep fishing. All right, so basically what I'm doing is, as you guys can see, this part of the river isn't wide at all. So I'm creeping up with the kayak on one side of the bank. And then what I'll do is just make a few casts before I spook any fish. So I'll just fish a bit. Make the farthest cast up as far as possible. And then I'll work my way up to the spot where my lure drop. I'll stop there and I'll do the same thing. Make a few casts to the left of me. And uh, that's how I'm doing it. That's how I'm working it. So I got to the spot where my lure dropped just, just a minute ago. So I'll stop here. Make a few casts up. Work it down to me and then... I'll continue. Oh no! No, 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 no. Oh, I still got him. I st oh, he came off. Oh, it was a little one. That sucks. Thank God it wasn't a big one. He had me wrapped up on these branches here. Bummer. Well, I want to take a second real quick to give a huge shout out to the Dreamcatcher. I'll leave his uh, channel linked in the description below. He uh, hooked me up with a spot to try out i only had like 45 minutes to fish i just really i wanted to go to scope it out to see how the area was how the boat ramp was took the kayak out there fished for about 30 minutes was able to land a pike uh, i'm not sure if i have that clip if i do i'm going to show it to you guys right now come on just one fish let me land one fish Don't got too much time left. I saw that one. I saw that bite. All right, we got our first pick roll, you guys. Again, I don't have a net. Come here, buddy. Come here. There we go, you guys. Wow, I fouled hooked him too. He swiped at it. Oh, I got him in the gills. It's not where I wanted to get him. All right. Well, I'm not gonna even take a picture of this guy, but I know he's not beating my PB either. It's a nice one on the white fluke. I've been tossing everything else. Then I switch back over to the white fluke, and of course, again, a huge shout out to the dream catcher. I'll leave his channel down below. Oop, there you go. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. But yeah, huge shout out to him. He was supposed to meet me there, do some fishing with me, but we're planning a trip together, and uh, get a nice video going for you guys hopefully soon but yeah go follow him huge support so uh yeah let's keep fishing all right so we made it to deeper water 
see if we have any big ones sitting around here, around this bank area. Hopefully we do. Right underneath that tree, you guys. Awesome. Wow, look how chubby this guy is. This guy is chubby. Right here underneath this tree. But, yep, there you go on the white fluke. There you guys have it. Small but freaking chunky. What have you been eating? Alright, <laughs> let's let him go. second fish been out here for about 20 minutes it's getting dark on us clouds are rolling in too too bad we have this hurricane or not even a hurricane it's like a tropical storm so we're just gonna be getting a lot of rain and heavy winds that's all I heard Fish number three, you guys. Fish number three. Easy. Nothing big, but always fun. Try to get away from this structure. See, maybe there could be another fish sitting over there. I don't want to spook him. We'll just move back real quick. Really going for pike, not for bass. Wouldn't have thought that bass would be up here so shallow, but I guess I was wrong. All right, so this is all I'm doing. I have a short liter of 30 pound fluorocarbon. I just have a size three, if I'm not mistaken size 3 wide gap hook and I have my favorite soft jerk bait and of course it's the zoom white fluke toss it back in here see if there's any other fish sitting in here wanting to eat this that fish took me straight into it so I probably spooked everything else that was in there all right well that mess just took me a good 10, 15 minutes. But now I'm situated once more and uh, start moving back down towards the ramp. It's getting dark on me and uh, pitch in a few spots that look good and hopefully I'll land another one before I get back there. Let's see. Where the big ones at? Where are the big ones at? That's what I'm waiting for. Hopefully I could land one before I get back to the boat ramp. Another little guy. Easy there. Oh, there you go. Another little guy. Like I said, always fun. It's crazy how they hit it. They hit it like their parents. Like they're huge, but they're just so small and aggressive.
There goes another one. Uh, still small, same size. Well, still made the trip out here worth it. These guys are, these little guys are fun to catch. But I really would love a bigger one. But sometimes it's like that, so I'm not complaining. Still catching fish. Like I said, I know it's nothing big, but sure is fun. Alrighty, guys. It is pretty dark out. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see me. Hopefully, this uh, tail light of mine is giving you guys some light. But came out here, fished before the the hurricane, tropical storm, whatever you guys want to call it, and uh, did pretty good. Caught a couple fish and had a great time, like always. But please like, comment, subscribe for more. Like always, thanks for supporting, and I'm out.